three, two, one. Oh, maybe not. Maybe this is actually talking about the, um... Yeah, this is actually talking about Aiko. Oh, I really do like how they integrate those, uh, kind of tactics into the story. Jigashi. I didn't really, yeah, I didn't really um know till last episode how revealing their kind of outfits and kind of whole spiel was. Because yeah, we saw the outfits like uh, like we just saw there before, not being too revealing, but shit like this is kind of embarrassing, isn't it? I mean, not if you want to wear it, but if you get forced to, that, that's just like being put on display and just being be horrible, wouldn't you? You're trying to be a singer and you get you get big, but you get big being half naked. Not really worth it, is it? I'm excited for this one, man. I'm excited for this one. Shame about uh, we're going to be ending off the season in a couple of weeks. I'm pretty sure. Again, is a shame. I finally found the uh, the full version of the opening and ending as well. Finally. Nagashima. Apparently, I didn't know this. Apparently, the um, I think it's the end song. It might be the opening, uh, but one of them is actually was already a song beforehand, a very popular song in Japan. I never heard of it before, but apparently, this is just like a remix version of it or something. Apparently, it came back into uh, popularity recently. Obviously, with the airing of this show. Yeah, I think it was the ending song. The ending song does kind of sound like an, uh, an old school song. I reckon that's like a little uh, hint of what the final episode is going to be like with all those cars. Dreamer. Six days until X day, which is the day they need the uh, likes by. And we still haven't got any. <laughs> we still haven't even made the post. But, um,. And I'm pretty sure it's a good idea from Kongming that we're saving it till the last minute. Usually when things do go viral, they do go viral pretty instantly, don't they? Obviously not right off the bat every time, but sometimes it'll be like six months and in one day it'll just go boop. Odd quirk. Yeah, I didn't realize last episode as well. I I rewatched it and they uh they had to do a um a ghost performance as well where they weren't singing. I didn't even see that. Which again just sucks when you want to be a musician. That's your life. Of course, plenty of people do that in real life. And just shows how accurate the show is. Sekidoba Kung Fu. Hmm. 
<laughs> put in geezer. Okay, is this, is this the final performance for him? I'll sock it to him. Oh, uh, is that her outfit? Classic jumper. I thought that might have been a kimono or something. <laughs> yep, something inspiring about that, isn't there? Something really awesome about it. There's a there's a very much an air of confidence around it as well, isn't there? Like of a hundred men. And so they do look, they do look like Batman villains, don't they? In those outfits. Some very uh Right, bottom of the barrel Batman villains. <laughs> okay, are you now? Okay, I guess that works. That mean we passed the grade to be on the track with him? <laughs> nice. Let's go. Rapongi Udon Shop. That's an interesting interesting title. Oh, was that just a placeholder? <laughs> oh, that's where she, uh, oh, I get it. But yep, sure did. Finally. Oh, fucking Steve Aoki, I think you guys told me he is. Too bright. The starlight is too bright. Get blinded. Blinded by this horrible fucking representer she's got. <clears throat> I mean, he's he, again. He's been pretty truthful in everything he said. To be honest, he's he's more of a businessman than anything, though, isn't he? So um, yeah, I can't really blame him too much. But he is very dry. <laughs> the stresses. The stresses of being creative. Giveaway project. I reckon they plan to not give anything away. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. A lot of people do this on the internet. A lot of people get fooled for sharing something that they think they'll win something for free, but it's just a way they get free promotion. I always find that hilarious because most of my friends do like repost stuff like that. And I'm just like, do you not understand that no one wins this shit? Some cases, of course, they do. I mean, most YouTubers are really good with that stuff just because they get held accountable if they don't do it, if you know what I'm saying. <sighs> I was just, oh shit, they're doing a live stream, are they? Okay.
sake of the populace. I'm a bit nervous for him, but again, I'm quite confident as well. Exactly. Three time champ. Oh, God. Remind me of the uh, scene from, uh, what's it called? A Mile. Yeah, everyone from this guy's friends to that, that kid we saved. Or well, he saved himself, actually. Last time he saw him. There he is, second told by Kung Fu. I'm interested to see a few of his bars as well. We heard, we heard him kind of rap his whole monologue a few episodes ago, but other than that, we haven't really heard him do an actual rap. The height difference. Nah, probably not. I can't. Because they're not animating it. <laughs> but I think he's probably nervous as well, as much as he doesn't look like he's a guy that gets nervous. Bosh bosh. <laughs> Dude's fucking rhyming the sound effects. <laughs> okay. Again, I saw an interesting comment about the Japanese rap on uh, one of the pages for this show. It's tough uh, for Japanese rap because they, again, they all end with, uh, most of their words end with uh, vowels. So a lot of the rhymes are very similar or the same in a lot of cases. So that's why they use so much English in their rap, I imagine, then. They usually end on the English as well, just so it has a little bit of difference. I find it quite interesting. It's quite fascinating how it kind of changed like that. Of course, some of them end with N as well. It's mostly uh, vowel, ending with out vowels or ending with an N, I believe. That was some pretty good bars though. Some of the best we've heard so far in, in terms of actual quality of what they're saying. He, what? He just accepted that he lost or? A lot of respect if so. One artist to another. Don't need to be told by the crowd, I guess. Okay. <laughs> they could have gone very badly if uh, Kevin Tyrogen didn't actually do that good. But again, I think I think that's the situation of game recognizing game, isn't it? Who knows? Vibes. <laughs> Ah, it's done. Nice. 
Uh, you know what? That's kind of true, I won't lie. I've seen a few times in, in anime and in real life when someone gets their head down for a few days. I've done it as well. When someone gets their head down for a few days, two or three days, and just works very hard at something. You'll be able to do almost anything. And that inspiration for the street performers. <laughs> what a greeting that is. So you turned up. I don't like how he references like that. I mean, it's a good analogy, but it's just, yeah, it's just a, bit, a bit creepy, isn't it? Moot. Not sure what that means. Okay. And now I'm a little bit nervous. Wow. Honestly, good start. Yeah. <laughs> nah. And this pompous for nothing. Lost the bear. Oh, did they have a bear that she wouldn't be good enough or something? Obviously, Kong Ming has, uh, is on her side. Interesting. Not sure if they mentioned that or not. Probably did. But, um, yeah, memory in the best. Yeah, it's almost like a bit of a heavenly beat. Definitely a definitely a beat that suits Aiko's voice, I think. All these experiences, man. Everything here. Ah <laughs> Are we gonna Yes, we are gonna hear it, hopefully. Let's say if the episode ended there, I'd be pissed. The flashback? Too bad. Wow, we haven't had anything like this yet, have we? Quite enlightening. See how they uh, live back in the day like this. Looks like he had a bit of an affinity for Kong as well. Incurable disease. This might be some of his inspiration. Damn! So he's he's getting the kind of flash flashbacks like uh, like Aiko as well. Obviously, his are a bit more grand, if you know what I'm saying. But very much in the same vein. 
ah, yeah, that was very enlightening to see, like, to actually see it rather than to kind of hear the stories as well. Don't get me wrong, I like hearing the stories at the start and such, but seeing it as well is, uh, adds a little bit more, doesn't it? Why can't we not hear in this? Oh, that's a shame. Want to hear some echo today? Guess we can wait till next week. I don't matter, don't I? Again. My lord. Oh, she was a little bit of a mix between. Oh, we are going to hear. Let's go. Is it going to replace the ending song? Maybe not. But yeah, she was like a bit of a mix between that little kid we saw and the uh, the music uh, the music kind of guy that bent over. I'm saying that so badly. <laughs> yeah, we can definitely see why he chose to be loyal to her. I need to pay more attention to these visuals here. Oh, I'm not going to have the drop. <laughs> that is lining up to be a cracker, though. That is lining up to be a cracker. A, a summer hit type song, which is what we needed, to be honest, isn't it? No, that wouldn't even be a bad title by itself, would it? Or has she got the name for it now? Dreamer. Ah, oh, so that's why this episode was called Dreamer. And we are going to have the end of the song, which is great to hear. Yeah, it's always a pleasure hearing this. But yeah, I hate how they fucking they just stopped right at the uh, right at the chorus right there. Because you know that's where she's going to unleash herself. Yeah, lining up to be a cracking song, wasn't it? Again, very much a big kind of summer hit type song, kind of uh, building up towards a big, uh, big chorus. Again, unfortunately, we didn't get to hear it, but we're here next week. Who are these two? Red haired and blue haired. Are they the, are they the people that initially met Kong Ming? I can't remember. I haven't seen those guys for a while. Hey DJ. Yeah, apparently this song is quite old actually, and this is just a uh, a remastered version or something. The different singers. Hip hop, hip hop. Hey DJ. And I think it's just credits, isn't it? Yeah. Unless, because there is 45 seconds. Yeah, it's just credits, I believe. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, really awesome episode today. Uh, here are the uh, Sekitoba versus uh, Cabotagian rap battle. That was really awesome. Again, probably the best quality of raps we've uh, heard so far and what they're actually saying. Uh, like I mentioned, there's some quite interesting kind of intricacies about Japanese rap. Um, again, it is reasonably simple in the fact that just in Japanese, there is only um, a certain, there's only, a, you're limited by the amount of uh, kind of rhymes you can actually do just by the amount, uh, by the way they're, they actually speak the language so um, using English words there is a bit of an ingenious method to um, kind of add more kind of rhymes and uh, more style to it um, that's probably a reason why maybe English is quite popular in Japan as well maybe that coincided with the rise of like English brand names and such for example um, it is seen as a reasonably popular thing I'm pretty sure anyway um, speaking uh, English in Japan but yeah, that was uh, that was really awesome by itself. Again, a bit of a shame we didn't get to hear the uh, the full Echo song, but it is lining up to be an absolute banger, isn't it? From what we heard with the beat, uh, the beat is absolutely awesome. But the lyrics uh, just before we got to the chorus as well were great. Um, again, a great kind of build up to the uh, to the chorus. But um, hopefully we'll hopefully we'll see that uh, in kind of full next week. It was a nice little compilation of uh, of things though, and I, I think I especially love this episode. The kind of flashbacks both Echo had um, over all the hard work that she's done. Um, seeing uh, 
obviously seeing Cabotage in my card was awesome as well. Um, but especially Kong Ming's kind of flashback to the old times. So you can definitely see um, the kind of echo in uh, both that little boy and the uh, and the um, singing guy. Who, uh, who hummed a little melody uh, and again you can see why Kong Ming would support Aiko so much but uh, yeah another awesome episode make sure you let me know if you guys thought of this one down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these reactions I'll be back next week uh, same time with episode 11 uh, I think that's going to be the second to last episode unfortunately so uh, very excited for it uh, but again a bit of a shame it's going to be ending some soon hopefully we get a season two um, I'm not sure about the source material for the show I'll have to look it up after this but um, yeah thank you guys for watching have a good rest of your day